Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the video. I'm Get Good Guy, and today we're going to talk about some things that are frustrating me big time in Battlefield 5. Now, I recently made a video where I gave my opinion on where BF5 currently sits in order to help some people to decide if they want to spend their money on it currently. And despite listing a significant amount of concerns, my opinion overall was positive, with the caveat that some of these concerns desperately need addressing. But having put in some more game time, some of these problems are really hindering my enjoyment currently. I've gone from having an absolute blast to kind of having fun despite multiple frustrations. And in the interest of being transparent and honest with you guys, I thought it best to update my coverage as I go along so you can get a clear picture of things from my perspective. So just quickly, as a TLDR, the game is fun for me. This isn't a hit piece. Overall, I feel very positive about this game. It could be fantastic with fixes in place, but it feels like it maybe wasn't honestly ready for release just yet, and a combination of certain factors is really stunting my enjoyment. Yes, I'd recommend it, but these issues will absolutely make it so some people won't like the game. I fully understand and accept that, and I feel like I should make you aware of them. These issues may well be fixed. I know that the devs are already looking at some of these problems and may have some planned fixes in the works. I back them to do the right thing and sort this stuff out, but as a player, until we get a patch or patches, this is currently our experience. An experience that is causing some friends of mine who played and enjoyed BF1 to simply not want to play BF5 currently. So what are these problems and why are they causing me such an issue? Well, the honeymoon period is over for me. The things that I ignored due to having fun with other facets have now made their way to the forefront of my consciousness. And a few can be grouped together under what I'll call a lack of player control. Because with maps this big, with somewhat limited lanes and ways to advance and objectives, we've got to a point where people essentially camping in one area are playing right into the meta of the game. Being aggressive is hard and somewhat unrewarding a lot of the time, which makes the game play slowly on certain maps, and this is intensified by other factors that make the player not wish to move, due to that lack of player control. Those factors for me are having next to no audio cues and some insane single frame deaths. By this I mean footsteps are near non-existent most of the time. I genuinely don't know if enemies are near me. They can be running around on top of me and I probably wouldn't know. This is something that's been repeated by masses of players out there and it just makes people scared to do things. Huge maps and no idea where people are, it's not a great combo. Plus, you rarely know if vehicles are around you and where bullets are coming from. So basically, things feel random. And that gets even more random with what people are calling one-frame deaths. I wasn't initially on board with this, but I'm starting to feel like it's an issue more and more. Sometimes, you just die in a split second and it doesn't make sense. I don't know if it's server lag or low tick rate or some other issue, but feeling like you lose gunfights unfairly simply adds to the random nature of the experience. It's frustrating. But let's move on to a separate issue. This ties in with the map design again, but in a different way. The overall movement in the game is really great. I like it a lot, but the things that don't work well are really, really annoying. I'm talking getting stuck on teammates, getting stuck on random parts of the environment, having to try to jump over things multiple times, not being able to run or even climb over some slight inclines, not being able to jump through certain windows sometimes, etc, etc. When you consider the size of the maps, the somewhat campy nature of play currently, and the need to move without being hindered, this is a problem. I don't want to make it all the way across an open field to then get shot simply because my character couldn't jump a fence for some unknown reason. It's not good. I thought this would have been eliminated after BF1, it hasn't been, and I hope to see it gone soon. It'll really help the game overall. And I don't want this to be deemed as a rant, because it's not. It's said out of my desire for the game to be excellent, to be the best it can be for the players. I want it to succeed. So I'm not going to go on for too much longer, but I do want to bring up one more point. It's something I touched upon partially in a recent video weapon balance. I know this is absolutely being looked at and will be addressed, and I know when games release sometimes the weapons aren't perfectly balanced. I'm not blaming anyone, I'm just saying it's currently a problem. So currently, SMGs have no real place according to the vast majority of the player base. They just don't do their job in close quarters against most weapons. SMGs aren't good at range, therefore they have to be better at close range. If they're only as good as or not as good as some other weapons, what's the point? Then the assault class is dominating in many ways and the bolt action rifles on console are basically a joke. And this is why we need solid platform specific balancing. Something really focused upon that goes into great detail to get things right. Because sniping on PC looks as if it can be incredibly effective. Go and look at Stod or Fabian Chills or whoever you like. A mouse can do that when someone very able is using it. But on console, why bother? With all weapons essentially being accurate, with multiple weapons killing super quickly in two or three shots to the head, why bother with a bolt action sniper on console? 
so. Using thumbsticks makes for an entirely different challenge. If you want an example, I had a game where I finished 21st on my team and I got the highest recon score in the game. This kind of thing is a regular occurrence. There's just no point using them most of the time on console. It needs a change that affects snipers on console and not on PC. That's not to say you can't do well on console with a sniper because obviously you can, but it's a matter of balance and I don't consider this to be balanced. And I think it shows by just how many people are using snipers on console or at least how many people are using them well. And so those are my current biggest frustrations with Battlefield 5 that I desperately want to be fixed. It looks as if we likely won't get a patch for any of this stuff for a couple of weeks or so. If we do get one sooner then great, but that's not the information I'm seeing. So this means we'll just have to power through. But what do you think? Are you enjoying Battlefield 5? And what would you alter to improve your enjoyment? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button for me, subscribe if you're new here, and turn on those notifications with the bell button so you don't miss all the Battlefield 5 content I've got coming your way. And then feel free to join the Discord server in the description and my pinned comment to get more involved with the community. Now let's head over to the Board of Awesome for the epic people who support the channel on Patreon. That support helps me to do this every single day, so thanks to everybody on here. If you want to join them on the Board of Awesome, the link to the Patreon page is in the description and my pinned comments. And with that all said, I'm Get Good Guy and I'll see you next time. Latest.